This is Greater MSP Business with Cindy Brucato. Two of our region's strongest sectors come together at Centera, a Richfield company that makes drones used primarily by agronomists and crop growers. Centera designs and sells drone systems that include specialized software to help farmers get crop data. The systems are also used to assist in public safety operations and provide aerial views of infrastructure at a cost that's a fraction of traditional aerial surveillance methods. Eric Typola is CEO and co-founder of Centera. Thanks for talking with us today. Eric, how was this company formed? Well, it's been kind of a long journey for us. So there are a core, there's a core group of about 15 of us that go way, way back in the drone industry, uh, all the way back to Lockheed Martin in the Twin Cities. So we, we built thousands of small drones and provided them to the British military over the course of many years. And when Lockheed Martin left the Twin Cities in 2010, we decided not to leave the Twin Cities. So we took a couple of, of hops along the way and moved out of the military drone space into the commercial drone space. And we're very fortunate to find uh, venture capital and investment uh, to fund Centera and launch us as a standalone um, business. So how did the experience at Lockheed and with military drones inform what you're doing today at Centera? Well, the, the technology is really the same. It's just that the cost has come, come down so much as the volumes have grown. So we're really doing things that are very similar to what we were doing 10 or 15 years ago um, for the military in terms of the technical content of the product. It's just that the cost has come down by 90 or 95 percent in the meantime. So run us through here. How do, how do the drones work? So at, at their heart, the kind of drones that we build are uh, completely autonomous. So there is an autopilot computer that's really flying the drone and we plan a route automatically. Typically for agriculture, we'll plan a route to cover a field and the user will either set the drone on the ground and it will take off in the case of the quad rotor drone or the user will launch, throw into the air uh, a fixed wing drone that looks like an airplane. But once the drone's in the air, there's no user intervention required. The user monitors, make sure everything is okay but there's nothing for the user to do until the drone comes back and lands and they want to retrieve their pictures and look at them. Who are Centera's customers and how do they use the drones? So our, our, our biggest, two biggest markets are agriculture and infrastructure inspection. So in agriculture, uh, we have growers, we have agronomists, we have researchers that are using these drones to take very high resolution photos of fields and of crops in the fields um, at much earlier growth stages than has been ever been possible before. Um, in infrastructure, um, our, our customers are using drones to go and inspect mobile phone towers, to go and inspect broadcast towers, to replace uh, a human that has to make a climb. The human is still there, but the human is safely on the ground, while the drone is the, is the camera that's up 500 feet in the air looking at something on a tower. Well, as you've indicated, this business is getting crowded. How do you keep your competitive edge? Centera is an engineering company. It's a, it's a design and engineering and manufacturing company. We're not really in the business of flying drones. And that's where most of the volume is coming from, is people providing drone services. So hopefully those people are our customers. Now, the cost structure of building drones has changed significantly. So whereas maybe 10 years ago, um, we would have been building a $100,000 drone product. Today, that's less than $10,000. And uh, drones have commoditized. You can now buy a drone at Best Buy, buy a drone at Target. So Centera is not going to compete in that space. As a US-based engineering company, we're not going to compete in that space. But what we are doing is building specialized sensors for precision agriculture and for infrastructure inspection that take that $1,000 drone and turn it into a tool that an agronomist or a farmer can use to grow more crops. There is increased regulation of drones and probably more to come. How is this going to affect Centera and its customers? For us, it's, it's been very positive. Um, we, don't, we don't build consumer grade drones. We don't build the kind of drones that you see flying over the beach or flying over sporting events. And that's where, frankly, a lot of the trouble has come from. Our drones are completely autonomous. They're engineered to a different standard. And so for us, 
the increased regulation has brought a lot of clarity to our users. There's now a path for a customer to go to the FAA and get legal approval to operate a drone for commercial purposes, whereas two years ago, that was a very gray area. Now there's a way to do that, and the regulations and the process for doing that keeps getting easier and easier as we discover more about how this business and the process of flying works. And thanks again, Eric Typola of Centera. For Greater MSP Business, I'm Cindy Bracato.